Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Cam from TubeBuddy, joined with Evan Carmichael. And today we're going to be talking about bulk processing tools. All right, Evan, our last interview did great, and if you guys want to see it, you can check the card on screen now. However, Evan, I thank you for your time as always. You've been doing a lot with our bulk processing tools, so I just kind of want to see what have you been finding, what have you been testing, what have you been doing with them? So I've got 5,000 public videos on my channel and going through and editing each one, one at a time is impossible. It's ridiculous. And so that's why I love TubeBuddy. We use it every single day in my company, myself and my team. Some of the things that we do, uh, cards. So I don't do the typical process, best practice recommendation where when your watch time falls off, that's where you put a card. What we do is every 30 seconds we put a card. So at 30 seconds, at one minute, 130, two minutes and 230 because you can only have five cards. And then it's always the most recent videos. So what we're trying to do is I want to drive people to the most recent videos for view velocity, get those new videos pumped up and get an attention. And then that spreads across all my videos. So if you have a video that's two years old, that's still getting some traffic, you can automatically have all the cards from that video go to your most recent videos and start building up the attention on that video. So uh, I end up having to run the process or someone on my team overnight because it has to go through 5,000 videos. Because <laughs> uh, it still actually has to call YouTube each time you do it. So TubeBuddy does his best job there. But even if you have 30 videos or 20 videos or 40 videos, imagine editing each one every day. It's, it's just not possible. And so that's one of the things I love about it. Uh, a couple of the things we do, we look at updating uh, descriptions. You have to be careful about that. You don't want to be wiping out the wrong stuff. So there's a function uh, around search and replace. So you can look for a certain keyword or certain phrase and you can delete that and put it in with something else. So as an example, if I wanted to promote that I was here at this conference and whoever wants to come meet me at this conference, I could put in the first line of description, I'm going to be in Dallas at the Vid VidCon, not VidCon, VidPow, Video Market, Video Marketing World. Video Marketing World, yes. Video Marketing <laughs> World Conference in Dallas, Texas. It's too, it's too many. It's okay. Come join me, right? Or like, here's the link to sign up. Or if you want to promote something, you have a special offer for one week, you can, you can automatically put that on all of your videos in the description. And then once that ends, you can automatically remove it and replace it with whatever else that you want to put up right now. And so that is not, that is not possible normally, right? That's not, I mean, you have to go in each video one by one and it's just a ridiculous amount of time. And so the, the, the bulk automation tools is one of the big reasons why I signed up with TubeBuddy. And most people don't know this, but what we found is it takes about three minutes on average to change and update five cards per video. So if you have 5,000 videos, do the math and let us know in the comments below, how much time would that be? I mean, that's three minutes, 5,000 videos. That's going to be a lot of time. And that's time you could be using creating content because that's what we here at TubeBuddy want you to do. We want you to focus on content creation because it's great that you optimize the back end. But if you're not doing what you love, content creation, then we're not doing our purpose. We want to be your best friend on the road to YouTube success. So you talked about cards. Are you using anything for bulk functionality on end screens? Have you found any success there? What's your kind of process with end screens? We do two things on end screens. We have um, a, a video of, I point to the most relevant video. So like, if you like this video and you want more, like for this, I might say, hey, if you wanna watch Evan's last interview, go check it out and we'll point to that. And then always the most uh, relevant video that YouTube recommends, we'll put on there too. And then um, sign up for my newsletter and subscribe to my channel. Those are like the four elements we put on there. And then we save it as a template. So. With TubeBuddy, you can have uh, various templates. So we save that as a template. And all of those, the three elements are the same each time, right? The, the newsletter, the subscribe to the channel, and the most relevant video from YouTube. The only thing we have to mainly add each time is just what we think is the most relevant video that I'm going to be talking about and, and putting in. So again, saves time. If you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, when there's a tool that helps you do it, it just allows you to focus on creating better videos instead of worrying about administration. Absolutely. Evan, thank you so much for your time. We love having you on. Where can people find you? Where? What do you want them to take away from just having you on today? Oh, you can find me. Just search Evan Carmichael. I'm sure there's a link somewhere here. You guys can go find me or description. Um, the message I would say is the more time you can spend creating great content, the more time you can spend doing the work that you love and connecting with your audience and, and putting out 
videos that make you feel good. Like I'm proud of this video that I made and the less time you have to spend doing administration and, and backend stuff that may not be your passion, you'll feel better, you know, and you'll get better results. Like you'll just be happier, you know. The idea of spending all day updating cards in YouTube feels like a nightmare for me. And so the fact that I get to focus on creating more videos and I have time to come to events like this and speak to Andrew and be on this channel is awesome. It's because of all the time that got freed up. And so anytime you can look for hacks to make that backend process faster, go for it. Thank you so much. For more videos, check out the end screen. We have a previous interview. We mentioned it earlier with Evan. You can check that out on screen now. Thank you all so much for watching. We here at TubeBuddy appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and we hope you have a great day.